for this chapter, we are going to use quite a lot of equilibrium constant. So let's review it real quick. This is from Gen Chem 2, right? All right, let's say if you have a reaction or an equilibrium from A go to B, how do you express the equilibrium constant expression? Okay, so we're gonna go uh, the concentration of the product over concentration of the reactant, right? B over A. If you have A plus B, go to C plus D, you go uh, C concentration of C and D over concentration of reactant A and B. All right. Now in Gen Chem 2, I said uh, we talk about equilibrium that all reactions are in equilibrium. But what we're interested in is the position of equilibrium. You probably have heard that people say, oh, some reaction goes to the completion. What does it? What does that really mean? Okay. Here's the meaning of it. Let's say if an equilibrium, because the first one right here, um, has an equilibrium constant of a hundred, it means that the concentration ratio of product over reactant is a hundred to one, right? So hundred is hundred is the same with hundred to one. So that's the uh, concentration of B over A at equilibrium. And at equilibrium, if you do the math, the percent B going to be, so there's 100 over 101, so to combine the total times 100, that's 99%. That's what we call an, uh, the completion, okay? Another example, let's say if an equilibrium had the equi equilibrium constant of 1,000, which this means that at equilibrium, the concentration of the product over reactant is 1,000 to 1. All right, and that means if you do the math, so going to be the percent B, percent concentration of B, the product is going to be a thousand over a thousand times uh, one times hundred. That's ninety. Do the math, ninety-nine point nine percent. All right. Here's my point. Uh, we, practically, the reaction goes to completion when the equilibrium constant is a hundred or higher. Okay, but don't memorize it. I'm not going to ask you that, but just <clears throat> to show you what we're looking for. Okay, so we're going to use that in terms of uh, considering a strong base, strong acid. Okay, because they're going to use a lot of uh, uh, Ka, equilibrium constant of an acid. All right. All right, let's go to the next video. Let's talk about Ka real quick.